Hi guys, you're gonna be clean and I'm back with another video. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is all about trying viral TikTok snacks. So, if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the family and leave your comment down below, leave a like and please do stick around. So, for today's video, as you can see, we have the viral TikTok snacks in the building. I've been excited to try the TikTok snacks. I've been excited to try it, but now, finally, I can try it. Also, as you can see, the snack on the, on the um, thumbnail is the jalapeno one with the cream cheese and the uh, uh, takis, but we don't have takis in South Africa, so I found yesterday the flaming hot knickknacks and I'm gonna try it also with the um, chili cheese knickknacks I wanted to do it with the flaming hot Doritos but that thing has a weird shape so I might as well just do the flaming hot knickknacks it's gonna fit into the pickle just like that <laughs> weird Anyhow, if there's any noises, please excuse it. Yeah, so let's get into the video. The bell pepper sandwich originally comes from Janelle on TikTok. She makes all this. It's supposed to be a healthy snack. Man, the bell pepper. People on keto, they usually do this. So I got the green one. So oh, green pepper, green pepper, green pepper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this green pepper is, guys. What I'm gonna do with this green pepper is, I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna take out the insides, and then the two, the two halves will then create the top one and the bottom one. I will be back with the cutted version. So I'm back with the cut the version of the thing i'm back with it so this it's cut now what i have to do is i have to put in my cream cheese i have the kiri i don't know if i say it right the kiri a medium fat medium fat cream cheese yeah so i have to put that into the sandwich also, they use everything bagel seasoning. Everything bagel seasoning, which I do not have. I saw in a video of um, Lovely Mimi. I love to watch her. Um, Lovely Mimi said that the, the the everything bagel seasoning doesn't really do anything to the thing. There's my cream cheese. I think I must add more. Because the thing is this guys, I I love green peppers and I eat them raw. I feel like I will really I feel like I will really love this snack. Okay. I love bell peppers. I feel like I will love this snack. Must I not really use both of it to make the sandwich? Let me just do that. Okay. Let me just use both of them. I don't want to use my, all my cream cheese, man. I'm just going to put a little on the side, on the side as well. Then, he takes the lettuce. Oh, lettuce. Okay. She takes the lettuce and she puts it in. Obviously, she puts the everything in. I didn't have time for still. Now, I'm not seeing you use a salami. Not salami, really, pepperoni, because they don't have pepperoni, pepperoni um, salami there. But I saw someone using salami, the South African um, YouTuber. I'm gonna use um, chicken strips. Shit. I'm gonna use chicken strips. Close my. <laughs> this is my bell pepper sandwich. <laughs> Okay, so I must, I think I must take a bite. Okay.
I love it. I think I might just leave the bread. I really love it, guys. Like I keep on biting it. I I love it. The cream cheese is really creamy on here. The bell pepper is really refreshing. The green pepper. Wow, the Janelle. It is buzzing. It's buzzing. She says it's buzzing. This is a mess. Stop eating this. Mm -mm. Okay. So you guys can put anything you want on the bologna, sausages, anything. The cream cheese. I don't. I. It tastes even good without the everything bagel seasoning. I know maybe the everything bagel seasoning seasoning will be a game changer also you can go search for Laniao on tiktok he also ate the bell pepper sandwich with the he made his own everything bagel seasoning and um he also loved it you guys i want to finish that thing because it's amazing so if you want to go on a diet blah 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 i think then you must use the low fat um cream cheese yeah so that one i give a solid eight a solid eight out of ten i really like it i think that's a snack that i will eat i love the flavors everything is just amazing no kidding i really love it it's only just because i love cream cheese and i love um green peppers i can eat green peppers just like that maybe that's the thing but yeah <laughs> let's go over to snack Number two. Snack number two is the pickle. The dill cucumber pickle with the candy floss or the cotton candy around it. So let me take out my pickle or whatever. In South Africa, we have the. I don't know if it's the same thing, but. It's small, they call it the gherkins. I think it's the same thing. It should be the same thing, right? I love pickles, okay? These snacks are just what I like, but I don't know if I'm gonna love it. Oh, this is a fat one. But I don't know if I'm gonna love it with. I'm gonna love it with the cotton candy or the candy flush. The candy flush, okay? Let me just close my lips again. Okay? Let me close my lips because I'm So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna love it with the candy flush at all. So, I am. This is the pickle, the dough cucumber, okay? Love the flavor. And this is the candy floss, okay? So they take the candy floss and then they wrap it around the pickle. Oh my word, please be nice. Please. Please be nice. <laughs> Mm. So this is how it looks. 
pickle is all ripe. Let me take a bite. Yeah. I really don't know it. <laughs> it's really hard to chew because of the sweetness of them candy floss and then the sourness of the pickle. The thing is, I'm trying to figure out my cow is dripping if I like it or not because it's not gross I don't find it gross it's just weird mm. I almost like the whole thing Trying to figure out whether I like it or not. But there's something about it. That keeps me. Okay, so my honest opinion on that one. I think I must have another bite to be sure. Because I feel like... Remember, I like... Gorkons, pickled cucumbers, blah blah blah. No, it's that type of snack you the type of snack you will eat when you're on your period. So if I will give that a six out of a six out of ten. Yeah. A six out of ten. Now I'm gonna do Oh that plate is now Now I'm gonna do the it was snack number two, viral snack number two. A lot of people loved the pickle with the candy plus i'm not gonna lie it threw me off at first because it's a weird taste because between sour and sweet like anyway let's move on so now they say they take the flaming hot cheetos we don't have flaming hot cheetos still is reachable but too expensive now i'm not gonna pay a hundred rand for one pack no no ma'am so I'm just gonna use what I have. I love these. They are not too hot, so they take a few of the chips. Right? This is so addicting. They take a few of the chips. You take the pickle juice What a weird kind of What weird kind of thing This is how we now 
pregnancy stuff. So they take it with a little bit of pickle juice. And they call it the I call it the, the, the hot Cheeto cereal. I will now call it the Nick Nick cereal. Uh -uh. First of all, these people are fucking crazy. Okay, the. Um, the, the, the pepper sandwich the pickle the candy floss sandwich in between but this zero out of ten oh my word that that tastes like stomach work that tastes like your stomach is just gonna blow now for the one that I've been waiting for because I love spicy stuff but they say this is not spicy at all jalapeno chili these are not pickled okay these are not pickled obviously you can't use the pickled ones jalapeno jalapeno okay so they say you want to cut it and cut it okay cut it and cut it so now I'm gonna cut it and cut it You must take out the inside because apparently the inside is the spicy one. The spiciness comes from the inside. Like me. I'm spicy from the inside. <laughs> My spiciness comes from the inside. My knife is too big for this nonsense that I'm trying to do. Now this one is nicely gutted. This one must also come. You must also take this one. So they say the spiciness is in the seeds, so. I'm taking out the seeds as they require. The seeds should be out. Okay, so now that I've nicely taken out the seeds out of my jalapenos, now I'm gonna put in my cream cheese into the tr Then you stuff it with some cream cheese, okay? You stuff it with some cream cheese, with some cream cheese. And stuff it all the way in with some cream cheese. You stuff it. Them. This one is obviously more stuck than the other one. Okay. Okay, let's take the one I'm gonna stuff with the flaming hot knickknacks. Okay, so they put them in there, they put them in. Okay, so this one is stuck with the knickknacks. And then I'm gonna stuff this one with the chili cheese knickknacks. Cheese one. 
go in your kokoruru. Okay, so these are the two. I'm gonna try the chili cheese nick next one first. Here we go. Okay. If you don't like spices, then you probably wouldn't like this, but this is not really spicy. But there's a small kick. Especially if you eat a one of the seeds. Then you can slide this one. Wait. I feel like I will hurt myself with this. I will really. Who came up with this? Okay, so with the flaming on it next, it's gonna be hot. Just warning. Do try it. Mm. Is after tasting all of these snacks, as I feel like you guys must try it. You don't have to go out of your way to go try to go buy or Cheetos or the Takis or whatever. I feel like they would taste the same. Let's Nick next did the three the trick. He tasted amazing. Buy uh, this is only ten rand at eleven rand at pick and pay. Cream cheese, doesn't matter which one you take, whatever, but I, I do urge you to try it, do try it, you might like some of these stuff. I have a, I have a headache, I have a bad headache after all of this. I don't know why, but I, my head is pounding now. I feel like I will be in the toilet after this, <laughs> but please so if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave your comment down below love you guys and see you again there will be a part two of this video i will be trying other snacks um so stay tuned <laughs> bye